Ukrainian President Zelensky did define victory, what he thought victory looked like in August uh, of last year. He said, Crimea is Ukrainian and we will never give it up. This Russian war against Ukraine and against the entire free Europe began with Crimea and must end with Crimea with its liberation. There's always been a hesitance among U.S. officials, Jake, and I know you're included here, about Crimea specifically, and it's always been, well, it's up to Ukraine. Well, President Zelensky said it. Victory is all of the territory back. Why don't we say the same thing now? Well, we have repeatedly talked about Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity with it in its internationally recognized borders. The question for us is, how do we put Ukraine in the best position on the battlefield so that they are ultimately in the best position at the negotiating table? And President Zelensky, as recently as this week, has said we are going to have to ultimately get to a diplomatic phase of this conflict. So from our perspective, our goal is to strengthen the hand of the Ukrainians on the battlefield so that they are in the strongest position with the most leverage when they get to the negotiating table to ultimately achieve an outcome uh, that restores Ukraine's full sovereignty and territorial integrity. If they want to take Crimea militarily, will the United States help Ukraine do that? Chuck, the critical thing right now is that they need to take back the territory in the South and the East that they are currently focused on, and we need to give them the tools to be able to do that. The question of Crimea and the question of what happens down the road is something that we will come to. Where we are right now is that we need to be focused on the immediate term because it is critical that we move fast and we move decisively to help them take back the territory uh, across that line of contact that Russian troops are currently occupying. It sounds like you think the ideal outcome is Ukraine is able to take more territory back. Putin fears that he could lose Crimea and he comes to the negotiating table to see if he can keep Crimea. Is that the best case scenario you're envisioning? Again, I understand why you're asking the question, mm -hmm. but you have to understand that from the United States' perspective, we're not going to negotiate over the destiny and sovereignty of another country. That is for their democratically elected president to decide. What we are going to do is give Ukraine the tools that it needs, as I said before, to be yeah. in the strongest possible position, to ultimately be able to convert battlefield gains into diplomatic leverage. That is the goal here, and that requires us to achieve those battlefield gains right. through the provision of military assistance to Ukraine. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.